today's video, we're going to be exploring timers and counters in the Divi theme for WordPress using the Divi page builder. So I've got the visual builder open here on my website. If you've used the Divi theme before, you'll understand there's a visual builder. Uh, and I'm going to add in a section, just like a, a row here, full width, so I can add in a countdown timer. So you see here we have a circle timer and a countdown timer. And a lot of there's a lot of cool features in here worth exploring. Um, you've got like number counters and things like that. So we've got the countdown timer. We're going to add that in first. So you can see here we've got this background, which makes things a little difficult to read. So go down to background and change that. Maybe to change it to black. Also, if I want to, I'm going to add a background image. So I'm going to go to add background image and choose something like this something subtle and we have this cool timer here uh, that we can use so now the way it works is above here you've got text you've got title goes here you've got the date uh, so what we can say is days until our course is live something like that and you can announce so you got a course coming something like that with a launch date and maybe at the moment it says the 27th of may maybe i'm deciding to launch it on the 1st of june uh, and I can launch it that way or uh, maybe even the 1st of August and you'll see here I can even change the time the hour the minute uh, it's a bit there's like a slider so I can choose 2059 which is 859 so maybe we'll make it 2030 so 830 so now we have 96 days uh, 14 hours 27 minutes and 45 seconds so that is our countdown and how we set our timer on this but there's a few more options as we said before you can use the background color or not uh, we've got our background image you can add videos you can add a background pattern if we want to spruce it up a bit you have your usual design options to play with so uh, we've got this one here and we can make that green and knock it down a bit and you can actually get it looking pretty cool uh, with a few different options. Now I've done a video on uh, you know, background patterns and things like that if you want to check that out. Uh, but otherwise when we go to design this is where we get some of the other uh, areas we can play with. For example, the text here we can make it left aligned, right aligned, justified. Centered tends to work pretty good with this one. Uh, one thing I think would look really good is to shadow all of the text. So I can shadow all the text here or I can shadow them individually under title text etc down there. But it's already in a dark background, so I'm going to pump the shadow strength up. Uh, maybe just add the blur a little bit and get it to really stand out. So we've got this cool effect. Now, another thing to remember is once we get past some of these basic settings is if you're talking about the hierarchy of it all, this doesn't really stand out. It just looks like a timer. So what if we want to highlight this area here? Naturally, we have a title text font here. We're going to make it ultra bold. We're going to crank up that size and maybe even choose a bright color. So now it says days until our course is live. It stands out a bit better and we can even change the font if we want to and do the usual uh, text stylings that we have available to us. We can even add another drop shadow or change the drop shadow, so to speak, if we want to and really get that to stand out. Uh, make it glow even. You sort of get the idea. But... Also with the numbers text, we can change that as well. Maybe we think the, the numbers are too thick, we're gonna make them thinner. Maybe the numbers are too big, so we wanna knock them down a little bit. So now we've got something where the title stands out more than the timer itself. And once again, we can change the colors a bit if we want to. Um, I personally liked, liked it white, <laughs> so I'm leaving it like that. So you can actually go through and stylize the title, the numbers, you can see the boxes appearing over there, the separated text, which is the colons, and then the labels. So once again with the separator, maybe I want those to be green, or maybe I want those to be blue, um, but I can easily set that up. I can actually make it disproportionately large <laughs> if I want to. Uh, change the font. Uh, you don't have a ton of options in regards to what character it puts there, but you, you know, it's still, it's still a pretty good feature. It's just uh, it doesn't have that option available. So after we've done the separator, we go to the label text, and maybe we choose something a little darker. Maybe we decide to make it semi-transparent so it doesn't stand out as much. Make that light as well. So that way you got this here. So you can go through and customize every little bit and piece of this if you want to, to get it looking the way you want. And remember also when you hover over these options, to hit the mobile option if you want different settings for tablet, 
So maybe you want this really big for tablet <laughs> for whatever reason uh, or phone. So you've got everything. Uh, so you see how these are getting cut off here. So for phone, I would say make the text smaller. So maybe we make it eight pixels. So it's just a bit smaller. This text is even overlapping at the top here. So if we're talking about mobile, we'll go to the numbers text, hover over the text size, hit the mobile icon, and just shrink it down a bit more again. So now it looks good across all device sizes. It appears the way we want. So that's our first countdown timer. Very quick and easy to set up. So we're gonna be I'm happy with that. We're gonna shut that one down. But what we're also gonna do is we're gonna add a column up here. We're gonna make this a three column layout. We're gonna add a circle counter here. Or, I, uh, sorry, I digress. I'm gonna go here and add three columns. And I'm gonna choose a circle counter. So we've got this circle counter here and we can actually choose have different stats on there. So maybe we can say, uh, if we're talking about, uh, you know, cost value or and something like that, let's just say we've got uh, online marketing. Maybe we say, uh, we can say percentage, so we can choose say 40 and it'll actually animate as well. Elements, we can have a percent sign or we just have that turned off, we're gonna say 40%. And then as before, we can add a background if we want to, such an image. So if you want to add a background image, it might look a bit funny, but we'll give it a go. We'll try this here. So you do get a square background image there, which does look a bit funny on that particular thing. So we're going to just scrap that image. But you see we have online marketing, I hit design because we can't see the black on black. So I do need to make the text color light. So we have our first timer, online marketing 40%. And as before, our title text and our number text, we can change all those settings to get it looking the way we want. So it's pretty much the same format as before when it comes to designing. However, the circle, we can change the circle color. So maybe with this one, we wanna go with the, the blue. The circle background color, we can change that to a gray or we can lighten it up so we see a little bit more of the remaining portion of the circle as opposed to just the original piece. And of course, now we wanna add these across the page. So I can click on this module, click duplicate, move that across. And then we start to get creative where, okay, we've got 40% marketing. What if we said the next one was graphic? We'll say branding. And maybe we have an element which is 30% branding. And then once again, we can go to design, take our circle and change the color to something completely different, like maybe a yellow. And that way you can set up like a little, you can set up some funny little timers like that or counters, I should say, not timers. Um, and once again, we've got 40, 30. So we still got 30% left. We'll leave that on 30. And then we just call the other one mindset or something like that. So you can have these cool different little effects going with your timers. Oops, go here. So that when someone, if I exit this page and reload it, when I scroll down, they'll all animate in place and you get this cool little effect there. So we've got the countdown timer and we've got the counter. I uh, So actually mentioned two counters, uh, two timers I should say, they're actually counters, uh, but we can go back in and maybe we want to add in, let's just get rid of this one here. And like I said, there is another counter. So we will actually go out, have a look at it after all, we've got a number counter. So you can set that up as well. Same as before, you can choose a number. It could be 78 if you wanted to, and it would climb up to 78. You design, you can choose the title text. Uh, let's just make all of the text light. So once again, we can say number of clients and you can set that up and have something like that there. And once again, with the design, same as before, the number of text can be changed. It can be made thicker, maybe make it ultra bold. Um, so you can set all that up, set up a drop shadow and do all the usual stuff there, which is pretty cool. Now, I do believe there's actually another one in there we're gonna look at in regards to uh, counters and timers. And that is a graph. It's like a bar, graph, bar counters. Here we go. So as you can see here, we've got, this is a little bit like a slideshow. 
title goes here. So I might say, of course, as before, online marketing. Let's say 40%, and we've got our green. That gray, it's a little bit too uh, light for me. First of all, the text, I want that. Um, well, let's go, let's go back up to the bar. The bar background color, we're gonna make that like a dark gray. Oh no, we'll make that the green. And then uh, of course we got title text, we're gonna make that white. Percentage text, we can change that to green as well if we want to, uh, if you do have percentage in there. But you sort of get the idea, we've got our 40%. The actual 40% doesn't seem to be showing up for whatever reason. But we can now go tick, and we can choose to show the percentage or not here. It's not really showing up. I think it might be showing up in the bar. So if I actually go back in, percentage text black, white, doesn't seem to want to show up. <laughs> it's okay. But um, whatever we do, we can go in and add in multiples of these as well. Now, one thing I am finding a little disappointing is that the bar doesn't seem to have the off color there, which uh, I'm guessing is the background color. So if I choose this color and make it black, there we go. I can actually just have that a little more subtle. And I've got one bar here. I can add another bar or I can duplicate this bar. So I add in our branding and I make that 30%. And once again, the bar color Maybe I choose a nice yellow for the bar color. And you can get these cool effects with, we'll say mindset, something like that again. Some buzzwords. Uh, and then you can add in your colors there. So you can get these cool little graphs here. They're cool, they're great for representing numbers visually and having countdowns on your website. Uh, but yeah, otherwise check out those for yourself, have a play. They're pretty basic in what you can do, but the effect is very cool. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider giving it a like. And if you want more videos like this or anything you'd like to know more about, please leave a comment below and I'll check it out. Otherwise, have a great day and I hope to speak to you again soon.